Hey guys, Edog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today we are hopping back onto Tap Titans 2 for part 30. It's been a crazy experience lately. It's just been amping up so much. I'm really excited to keep on playing this game. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of this game. If you guys love it, hate it. And if you guys are new around here, please go ahead and subscribe. We are trying to hit that 2,000 subscriber goal before the 22nd. Please go ahead and help me achieve that. 22nd is my birthday. That's why I wanted to hit 2,000 subscribers by my birthday. If you guys haven't subscribed already, go ahead and please subscribe. But let's go ahead and hop into this. Collect our daily reward. First of all, 27.9 AE. And collect the chest. 14.77 AF? Yeah. Or 7.1, I guess. Go ahead and check these demons, level 1. And Phobos, level 1. Okay. Let's go ahead and Twitch stream and new update for Android. We're not on Android, so it doesn't really bother us too much. New things in the store. What is that? So, okay. So I don't really see a whole lot new. There was always the Valentine's Heartbreaker bundle. Um, I'm personally not going to be buying one of those. First one's four times value. Next one's three times value. Thirty-five bucks and seven bucks Canadian. And we're, oh, there's a tournament going on. 36 minutes left. So 36 minutes doesn't give me enough time to go ahead and start doing it. I wish they made the tournaments longer. I wish they made them longer than a day. Give me, especially, a chance to actually play it. Um, let's go ahead and check. So we cannot actually buy any more or buy a new one. We need 155.76 AF, which is going to take a super long time. We do not have, don't know not. Don't have time for that. We can upgrade this 23 times, however. So now 99% of all of our DPS is coming from one hero. Guys, I really do want to start playing this game a little bit more offline. Let me know what you guys feel about, like, how you feel about that. I think that I could really, really benefit from playing offline on this game. Being able to come on and every time I get another, like, so right now we're at like, stage 288. Next time I make a video, I might be on stage 400. Like, just doing things like that. Like, I'm, I won't probably buy a new hero, but I'll always keep on upgrading. I'm doing things like that. So, let me know what you guys think of that. If you guys hate it, please leave a comment down below. If you guys don't mind it, let me know. Please. Um, we are going to go ahead and quickly see who hasn't been on. 21 days. So, I say in almost every, one of my, every single one of my videos, I give you a month. If you guys aren't on in so 30 days, I'll give you a little bit more. But, like, if you guys aren't coming on in a month, that's a little too long. Two days, two, 20 hours, good, and four hours. Okay, nothing's wrong there. Clan quest, goal complete. So play again in an hour and 31 minutes. We just missed that. Let's go ahead and try to upgrade our, so, wait, okay. Daily achievement. Contribute to the clan quest six times today. The clan quest six times today? What? How do you... What? The clan quest. We need to do this six times. Defeated. 23 hours ago. I don't think you... Can, how many times in a day can you do it? I didn't think you could do it six times in a day. I guess I was wrong. We're going to go ahead and keep on upgrading our heroes dps our damage per tap because one of you guys left a comment saying you guys only well you mainly upgrade your tap and it's been working really really good for you guys i want to go ahead and try to spend some more money on my tap because as you guys can see i am tapping a lot when i'm making videos when i'm talking to you guys when i'm explaining something i'm usually tapping so it is good to have that i am usually tapping our tap damage is 9.11 AD and we're earning 4.93 AE from our hero. So let's see how high we can actually get this up. I saw 14, 19, 200? Okay, we were doing like multipliers and stuff. Okay, 19 was the highest I saw. It automatically activated that, that ability. Or maybe I accidentally clicked it. I don't know. We'll activate this one too. Oh, that's going to take one guy out. I really don't like that one. I really shouldn't have wasted that. I really don't like that first ability because it takes off one character, one guy, when as you guys can see in the top, I just, I'm taking him down in a couple of seconds, not even a second each guy, so it really doesn't help me, and I'm spending a lot of mana, 28 mana on that, that is quite a bit. Uh, achievement, oh, kill one 
thousand bosses. 15 gems. 245 gems we're at now. We are getting a lot of gems back quickly. So that's one of the things that I've really been appreciate or I really liked. Before they had this big update, before the game was even fun, it took forever to do anything. To prestige. I remember you had to get to stage a thousand. I I'm at stage 314. You have to get to stage 1,000 at the very beginning of the game. Now I have multipliers, things that are going to help me get there quicker, better guys, things like that. Getting to stage 1,000 is not easy at all. And I don't think I, I've never done it since that update. Just because it's so difficult to get to stage 1,000. A lot of you guys do it, but when I only play the game for 15 minute tops, like every four or five days, it gets hard to be able to do things like that. That's why I want to start playing offline. I want to get a really high stage as well I'm offline. Even just leaving it on overnight. I would do that because my heroes like just do an absolute ton of damage every single second. And maybe I wouldn't be able to defeat all the bosses. That's okay. I'm still getting a ton of money. When I come back on, I can still upgrade everything. I think I'm going to try that. I might try that. Just it will be a really easy way to start leveling up. I don't think it's cheating because... I don't know if I don't know. I think I'll try it once. I'll try it once. I don't really classify that as cheating, but some people might. We can start upgrading. Like we can upgrade this 20 times. Let's go ahead. So now it's doing exactly 1%. We upgraded it before we upgraded. It was doing less than 1%. Now it's doing 1%. Maybe it wasn't the best upgrade. It's doing 98.59 AD upgrade. So now it's doing 2%. Okay. Yeah, we're still going to want to go ahead. So ranged, what are we using for helmets? Ranged hero damage, all gold, critical chance, pet damage. And this is all damage. Critical damage, all heroes. So what if we go like this? So, oh, we got a, we got a bunch of money. Oh, my goodness. What? 159 AF. Oh, we need AF. Okay, never mind. We didn't get that much money. If we go ahead and take a look, so we're earning, or we're we're currently doing 5.02 AE DPS. If we go like this, 1.47 AE, and if we go ahead, 1.47 and 5.02. So I don't really know why, or 14.99 times all hero damage. Oh, that makes sense. That's why our heroes are doing really, really good. Well, that's an, obviously a huge bonus. I was not expecting that. I thought it wasn't going to be as useful as it, is, as it is. We can upgrade some of these. Um, Book of Shadows is currently level 3, plus 90% all artifact damage and times 1.15 prestige relic. Don't really know what prestige relics are. Um... The prestige relic bonus increases the amount of relics gained when you prestige. Oh. Let's go ahead and upgrade that one. So. Um, so we're going to get more relics every time we prestige now. So I guess that's pretty big bonus. Not going to lie. Uh, wait, where did I want to go? Let's see if we can upgrade. We can upgrade another nine times. I want to try to keep myself. Or I want to try to get to level 1,000 as soon as we can. Our level 1,000. Because I think that's really going to help. I really, like I said at the beginning, I really want to start upgrading tap. Because in most of these Tycoon games, I've really been focused on the automated income. So the income that I don't have to tap for. And obviously you're going to get more money for tapping than you are automated income. So if you upgrade your automated income, or let's say your hero's DPS. If you upgrade one hero, you only have one hero ten times. And you upgrade your tap ten times. Per tap, if you tap... So let's say in 10 seconds, your hero is going to do 10 times. It's going to attack 10 times because it does it every second. DPS, damage per second. You can tap a lot more than once every second. That's an awesome addition. Maybe if you're only tapping once a second, maybe you'd even be still doing more. I'm not too sure, but I know I can tap. What was it? In 30 seconds, I can tap almost 500 times. Like if I'm actually going like as fast as I absolutely can. Like that's a lot. 500 times in 30 seconds. Or maybe it was 60, no, it was 30 seconds. It had to have been 30 seconds. Like, that's a lot of damage. Like, that's a lot. Like, if you think about that, like, that's why I kind of want to start upgrading my tap more. 
Let me know what you guys think if we should upgrade the tap or the hero's DPS more. I've been mainly focused on the hero's DPS for basically the whole like whole entire game. But let me know what you guys think of that. What you guys personally do. Leave a comment down below. Because I, I do want to try tap. I do want to try it. Let's go ahead and try to upgrade some of these skills. These aren't that expensive. 5 AE. Oh. Passive skills. Intimidating presence. Level 1. Minus 1 Titan count per second. Free upgrade. Huh. That's cool. Don't have any of those. And we're not going to go ahead and prestige. What would we get? We'd get 83 relics. Not very many at all. Zero skill points. And start at stage 38. So when I, I was watching one of your guys' videos, and he, whenever he prestiged, he started back at level, like, stage 500. I'm, like, holy, and I think he prestiged at, like, 1200 or something. So he got a huge bonus. Starting at stage 500, that's a lot. Guys, I am going to have to go ahead and end this episode here. If you guys have enjoyed, please go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you can help me hit my goal of 2,000 subscribers by February 22nd, 2018. That's going to be my 16th birthday. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.